Okay, G family. I'm back with another unboxing. The box itself went through shipping really well. Um, so I'm really impressed by USPS. It looks really good. Um, so I'm glad it glad it did okay. I'm not even quite sure how to open this. And I'm a little nervous about this because how is this figure even in this thing? Like how is it even gonna survive this? I, I don't understand. Um, but we're just gonna get into it. You guys might see an absolute epic fail. Um, which, you know, has happened to everyone at least some point in their lives. But like I said, I don't know what to think about this at all. This is a really cool figure too, so I hope it survived. Unlike if there's minor warping, which there almost is certainly gonna be. So we're just gonna slide it right out of here, hopefully. It's out. This is weird packaging, but I'll accept it. Some cardboard chain mail going to war, which this figure apparently did. But either way, we remain optimistic. This figure was a really good deal on eBay. Um, and it was kind of staring me in the face for a little too long, so I just had to get it. Um, so hopefully, he's alright. Oh, and he looks... Good. He looked good. So, wow, that was a little terrifying. But yeah, let's pop him out of this plastic bag. Luckily, this figure is very slim and doesn't have a big... Uh, footprint. So it looks to me, if we straighten everything out a little bit, maybe on the on the uh, this side here he's a little warped. Um, that could have just been like that, I suppose. This is the Marmot uh, Mechagodzilla, um, the show Mechagodzilla 1974. 1974? Pretty sure it's 1974. I'm having a little bit of a brain fart. Um, I already have one of these figures already. Um, in the black version, you, I doubt you've seen it in the background, but I do have one. But this is actually the glow variant. Um, it's kind of the classic glow-in-the-dark color vinyl with blue and gray highlights, and he's got those big red eyes, too. Um, this is also... I, there so many figures that I've been kind of... Because I'm a big glow-in-the-dark guy, and, you know, they're one of those figures that you just can't really get a hold of because they're just so awesome. Um, so glow-in-the-darks and glitters are just... Two of the variants of Marmot that are just seem to be a little bit tricky, um, but no, either way, this guy looks freaking awesome. Like I said, he could have been a little warped from the box, which I assuming he was, but every all things considered, and how horrible and terrifying that box looked, he actually looks really good. Uh, nothing's broke, so that's amazing. Um, so yeah, no, I can't stop looking at this thing. I'm so happy I got this glow in the dark. Definitely one that you don't see in everyone's collections. Really cool figure. I'm glad it survived the shipping and that terrible box. So, thank you eBay. Uh, great deal. And overall, I'm very happy with it. So, thanks for joining me, G family. And uh, we'll get uh, this guy put on the shelf. And you guys can see him in the background of all the future videos. Alrighty, guys. We will see you later.